Now let's come back and finish off your nitric acid with your uh, brown ring test. So basically brown ring test, hope you would have done this practical in your lab. <coughs> Browning test is the confirmatory test for nitrate anion, correct? So your teacher would have made you do this Browning test, very uh, interesting test and most of the students will not be able to do this test. So let's see how to do it in the lab first and then come back to the reaction. Now you for Browning test, I said it is a confirmatory test for, confirmatory test for nitrate NO3 minus, let's see. In this particular uh, re re reaction, first what would you do, You whatever salt is given to you, <laughs> you are going to test it for nitrate. Important thing, you are going to take in step 1, freshly prepared ferrous sulphate. Freshly prepared FeSO4 solution, ferrous sulphate solution. Done. And you are going to take a test tube. Now to this test tube, whichever salt is given to you, let it be barium nitrate, calcium nitrate, zinc nitrate, whatever salt is given to you, you would have added that salt solution to this. So nitrate form, I am going to take NO3 minus. Now to this, you also would have added freshly prepared ferrous sulphate. After adding this, you also should, would have added concentrated sulphate. Okay, now this once the solution is made completely, then you would have taken this test tube and kept that test tube in the slanting position with this particular uh, solution and you would have added concentrated sulfuric acid on all the sides of the test tube slanting in this way and you would have added with a dropper on all the sides now let us see this reaction after this particular uh, thing after adding on all the sides of this test tube you would have observed one important thing without um, shaking the test tube you would have observed the formation of a brown ring in the junction and two layers separated the upper layer would be ferrous sulfate this would be the brown ring and this would be your sulfuric acid layer and hold it hold that test tube without shaking and show it to your examiner the formation of the brown ring that is nitrous of ferrous sulfate confirms the presence of your nitrate ion so let us see this reaction so step one you are going to add nitrate so let us take that NO3 minus now this is ferrous sulfate isn't it so ferrous sulfate the ion when I break that it will break up into Fe plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2 so Fe plus 2 this you are going to also add sulfuric acid so take that H plus I am writing the ionic form of this so when these combine so important thing Fe plus 2 has to reduce, okay, the, the main concept is this only. So, this Fe plus 2 has to reduce the nitrate to nitric oxide. That's the most important thing. What will happen? NO3 is reduced to nitric oxide. Right. So, by the loss of electrons, now Fe plus 2, I said NO3 reduced to NO. Fe plus 2 gets converted to Fe plus 3. I said reduce, isn't it? Done. It allows this gets reduced and this gets oxidized. Loss of electrons. Now further H plus this gets converted to water. Now in your step two, when I have to see the step two form, <coughs> now this whole thing is hydrated, isn't it? It's already there in the test tube. This whole hydrated form, I am writing. Okay, let, uh, let us write here only so that it's not confusing you. Okay. Now this is your step one. Now in your step 2, this hydrated form, so how is this hydrated form? This Fe square bracket H2O <coughs> taken 6 times and plus 2 is the charge, overall charge. This hydrated form, this further combines with your NO, this is also there in the test tube. And together they form a complex called Fe, observe carefully, there are 6 ligands here. Now, this 6, 1, the NO will occupy this uh, uh, sphere, the coordination sphere, and this becomes 5, 5 plus 1, 6. So, H2O taken 5 times, NO and plus 2. This is called your brown ring. How do you name this? Nitroso, right? Nitroso ferrous sulfate. Okay, that sulfate is already there, isn't it? FeSO4 is already there. So, this is your ring. Ferrous sulfate. 
so browning test this is the procedure this is your step one this is your step two let's uh, balance this if i have to write three okay this is three two is a six and fe okay this also is three now okay four h plus here two water here okay it's balanced so this is how you're going to show the browning test